Yenbacher gas engines are fueled by a mixture of air and gas. Air is sucked into the engine through the air filter, gas via the gas drain, and they are mixed together in the gas mixer. To increase power output, the mixture is then compressed in a turbocharger. Since the compressed mixture also heats up, it is then cooled in an intercooler to avoid uncontrolled combustion. It then passes through the throttle valve, which, like the accelerator pedal on a car, helps control the amount of mixture entering the inlet manifold and the individual combustion chambers. After combustion, the very hot exhaust gas is used to drive the turbocharger before leaving the genset. When air and gas are combusted, heat is released. The jacket water circuit is one of the ways this heat energy is extracted from the engine, and it also helps keep the engine temperature just right for optimal performance. The jacket water pump pumps water into the engine block, where it begins to heat up. It then flows through the cylinder heads, getting even hotter, before collecting in the manifold. The hot water then passes through a heat exchanger, cooling down before it returns to the water pump, beginning its journey again. Gas engines can be used not only to turn a generator and create electricity, but also to produce heat. The hot water circuit recovers this heat which can then be used for the heating and cooling of buildings in industrial processes or to generate steam. Heat is produced when the air-gas mixture is compressed in the turbocharger and then combusted in the combustion chamber. Heat exchangers around the engine extract heat directly from the air-gas mixture, from the oil circuit, and from the jacket water circuit. A heat exchanger works when hot and cold media pass next to each other, separated by a metal wall. In addition to the heat exchangers on the engine, Heat can also be recovered from the combusted gas with an exhaust gas heat exchanger. Heat exchangers are connected with piping in a specific sequence, which can be modified to meet each customer's individual temperature requirements. As water travels through the circuit, its temperature increases. It then passes its heat onto the customer before starting its journey again. An engine is a machine which turns the chemical energy stored in fuel into mechanical energy. When the air-gas mixture is ignited, the combustion pushes down on the piston and the conrod, rotating the crankshaft. This in turn drives the generator, which turns mechanical energy into electrical energy. At the heart of the generator are four rotor coils positioned equally around the rotor shaft. These generate a magnetic field with two north and two south poles. As this magnetic field spins past static coils in the stator of the generator, they induce an electrical alternating current. Two polar pairs spinning at 25 times a second generates electricity with a frequency of 50 Hz and at 30 times a second to generate 60 Hz. Oil takes many paths through the engine, lubricating and cooling moving parts. It begins its journey in the oil pan, a large reservoir of oil directly below the engine block, and is sucked into the oil pump. 
Before it enters the engine, it is firstly cooled in a heat exchanger, and secondly it passes through an oil filter to make sure that any unwanted particles are removed. The oil is then pumped to various parts of the engine where it is needed. For example, here we can see shaker cooling of the piston, where oil is directed towards a channel in the piston by a nozzle. After passing through the piston channel, it then drops back into the oil pan to begin its circuit again. Yenbacher gas engines are spark ignited four stroke engines. Let's look at each stroke in detail. During the intake stroke, the inlet valve is opened and the piston moves downwards, sucking the air gas mixture into the combustion chamber. As the piston reaches its lowest position, the inlet valve closes and the compression stroke starts. The piston then travels upwards compressing the mixture. Shortly before the piston reaches its highest position, a spark plug ignites the mixture and the power stroke begins. The fuel is combusted, releasing heat and pressure, which pushes down on the piston and turns the crankshaft. The exhaust valve is then opened and the combusted gases are pushed out as the piston travels upwards during the exhaust stroke. For each cylinder completing the four strokes, the crankshaft makes two complete turns. And multiple cylinders working together in sequence increase the engine's power output.